Hi guys and welcome back to another video. So today I will be comparing Ibis Paintex with Procreate. Um, I love both apps, so don't get me wrong. I use both apps for different functions, and the new Procreate update is amazing, and it will be included in this video. So without further ado, without wasting time, let's get started. So once you open Procreate, you get an overview of your saved artworks, and you can also name them. And if you're new to Procreate, you get um, examples of artworks that Procreate artists have done. Um, mine are blurred because they are for future videos and I, I don't want to spoil them. So let's get off with the first point. So the first thing is you can do on Procreate is creating layers and naming layers. So you go to the plus sign on the top and then you type in any number based on what you want. You, you, you can have your... Um, you can have your canvas in pixels, centimeters, millimeters, and in inches. It depends on what you want. And then you press on create at the top. I honestly like using square and screen size that are already saved on Procreate. The next thing is you can change the background color and place the color wheel on the layer, which is a part of the new Procreate 5X update. So as you can see, you go to the circle on the top and then you pick the color and you can also pick the color from the color palette based on what you want. So here's why I love this new feature. So basically when you press on the color wheel, you see this grayish line and then you press on it and move it all around the layer as you like. So this feature is really a lifesaver for me um, because when I'm zooming in and I'm drawing something, you basically had the color wheel on your right. And whenever you zoom out or do anything to the layer, it just disappears out of nowhere. But this feature now allows the, the, the color wheel to stay where it is and not having to move when I zoom in or zoom out, which could really be very handy because if I'm doing sh if I'm shading something and I, I and I accidentally go out, I, I I can still have something near me. I don't have to go all the way back again to the color palette that has been gone. And now for the feature that I'm pretty sure everyone knows about is important in making brushes on Procreate. You can also create brushes on Ibis Paint, but I'm not really sure about it. You cannot sell them or do anything, or you don't have that much detail. Um, Okay, so the next thing we're going to be talking about the details on the layers that you can do on the left side. Um, you can see this um, icon of the hinge and then this little icon, I don't know what it's called. And then um, there in that icon that I don't know what it's called, you can do so many things. You can do the perspective blur, you can do the Gaussian blur. Um, on Procreate, you don't have the blur tool, you've got the smudging tool, but you've got like so many things you can do on your left. Um, that's and that's mainly where the most of the changes happen. You've got um, like this color situation thingy that you can change the colors um, based on something. I, I don't really um, have much more information about this, but like you can, I think you can um, tell what I mean by what I'm showing you. And this one is my favorite. The liquefying tool is just hella amazing. I love, love, love it. You can do so many things with the liquefying tool. You can expand um, the thing you're drawing and you can re reconstruct it and then you can pull it in the edge and you can do so many things with it. So the next thing is the pinch to zoom option and this option is such a lifesaver. For example, like 
as you can see just like once you pinch you've got like the screen like full fit to your size um fit to your ipad and you can draw and that and when we see me in ibis x paint i cannot do that okay so the next thing is options and folders and layers um ibis x paint kind of has the same thing but not really as you can see once you tap on um the layer you can rename the layer um you can do the flipping mask the alpha lock you can do so many things with it you can like like there's so many things you can do you can hide the layer you can um lock the layer you can do so many things with it and another thing you can do is add text and photos on procreate you can also do that in ibis Paint, and you can also import uh you can also import fonts on procreate but i'm not really sure how to do that I, i'm I don't really know how to do that, but you can still um, add in text if you really like lettering. Last but not least, we have the shape tool. The shape tool could be a real lifesaver for many Procreate artists where you can draw any shape you want, like for example, a circle, and then you tap on your Apple Pencil, you press on it hard and with your finger on the screen, and then it magically turns into a perfect looking circle or a triangle, or a square, or a rectangle, or a polygon, or what um, shape you want. Now it's time for Ibis X Paint X. So once you open Ibis X Paint X, you're gonna get also your saved artworks. I use Ibis X Paint X mostly for my thumbnails. Um, so let's get started. So you get the plus sign at the top and you can also choose um, the size of the canvases as you want. I'm not going to talk about each and every tool, but what I can say is at the beginning, when you get a basic paint text, you get a guide for each tool. So for example, you get what the magic wand does. Okay, you press on it and you see its function. You get what the um, fillers do and you get what the brushes do and well, you get what the eraser does and you get what the smudging tool is and the blurring tool and so 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 on so i'm not gonna talk i'm not gonna talk deeply in depth about it because once you get the app you like the app provides you with a tutorial itself so ibis x paint x provides many brushes and also free ad brushes for 18 hours you watch an ad and then you get the free brush you can also create your own brushes on ibis x paint x but many artists on procreate like to make their brushes and sell it so that feature is not available um so anyway you can of course change the size and the opacity and the type of brush you want and you can also choose on the type of brush in the eraser if you can get what you mean and here is a display of how you can make your own brush like some something kind of like that you can choose the tip and stuff but you don't have much more variation like you do in procreate and then of course you've got the color wheel you can kind of like place some important colors that you use on your left but it's not the same as color palettes um yeah that's kind of annoying though um something that i really really love about um ibis x paint x is the text i just love how many fonts you can import and i just love using the text tool um on ibis x paint x i kind of find the text tool the text tool quite confusing and procreate but i really love using it on ibis x paint like Procreate 2, you've got options in layers in Ibis X Paint X. Um, you can um, change the transparent thingy, like many people use it for gacha life and stuff. And you can also rotate your canvas. But something that really annoys the hell out of me is how when I pinch the um, screen, I cannot go back to it. It doesn't um, come into my... Um, like it doesn't fit to my ipad but there's so many fillers you can play around with um i i i kind of have like some favorites in the brushes and everything overall and you can also save the photos in both apps and you can also see the time lapse and stuff like that and i love using both apps for different functions 
thank you all so much for watching this video and don't forget i use both apps for different functions and both apps are really great so don't think that one one app is better than another and thank you so much for watching watch my last video up there and don't forget to subscribe see you in my next one bye